This is Lagos, Nigeria. Nigeria is a developing nation with our own challenges, struggles, failures, and success stories. In the face of every one Nigeria you see out there, it's written, resilience and ability of survival. Lagos, one of the city states of Nigeria, is developing her infrastructures to meet up with the demand and the need of our residents. What is development without an active progress? This is Mile 2 Corridor heading towards Padagri, down to Benin Republic. Unlike we have the Lagos Island, where we have the big businesses and rich residents of Lagos residing. This is where the lower class in Lagos reside. And there are a lot of developments springing up at this corridor. An ongoing construction for a transport hub here in Mautu area of the state. This will give Lagosians that sense of confidence and swift experience in the transport sector. I paid a visit to the construction site to see the progress they made so far on the project. As you can see, everything is at the ground level and work is currently going on here seriously. This project is expected to be completed in February 2026. When completed, it will accommodate the Lagos BRT, the first and last mile bus, and other public transportation owned by government and owned by private sectors. When this project is completed, it will change the transport landscape here in Mautu. Mautu, being a transport hub in Lagos, it will change how people commute and improve their experience using the public transportation. In future updates, I will take you through a comprehensive tour of this project, exploring the progress they've made and all you need to know concerning this project. I've been here before and I will come again. Funding for this project has been secured. Construction is currently going on as you can see. This project will also connect with the Lagos Blue Line Metro Rail Mass Transit when completed. Talking about the Blue Line, the Lagos State Government is working hard on the phase two of this project which connects Mautu to Kokomaiko. As much as the transport hub will be completed in 2026, the Blue Line Phase 2 will also be completed before then. has been a massive progress on the construction of the Lagos Blue Line Phase 2. A massive one at that has been accomplished on the Phase 2 of the project and I'm very sure by 2026 this project would have been completed.
construction is not just on the train service, they're also working on the bus rampy transit system known as the Lagos BRT bus, which also convey passengers from place to place, um, from Maltu to other communities or on this corridor. Like, they've made enormous progress on this. construction of the quality bus corridor, a public transportation initiative in Lagos, currently going on from Yaba down to Sele Express. Construction has commenced and funding has been secured and Lagos State Government is keeping in tap to ensure this project comes to life as soon as possible. In the future updates, we'll be giving you full details on what's going on here on the QBC project. While visiting the site of the project, you will see the level of progress they've made on this project. To see that, ensure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so when we drop a video concerning this, you'll be the first to know. My desire as a Nigerian youth is to see a very productive society where everyone is meaningfully engaged. Once it's 6 in the evening, 7 in the evening, we don't have people coming from work to home, but we have people coming from work to work, work to home, Home to work to build a greater nation. It will take more than words. It will take action. It will take the government putting the basic infrastructures in place to ensure her citizens are productive and efficient with their time and resources. Lagos State Government is investing heavily on public transportation. Just within one year, they've built two retracks, the blue line and the red line, which are actively working. And other rail lines are also in construction. Maybe when we achieve a reliable transport system across all state of Nigeria build on our road infrastructures, have good infrastructures in place, then I believe Nigerians will be productive with their time. When you know that you can actually time your movement and get it done, I'm very sure our companies will spring up, our economy will grow, our people will be more productive with their time and all. And this is an area I envy the Lagos State Government and encourage what they do and take pleasure in all sharing with you the progress they are making on these infrastructures. What you're saying here is not just metals or road, but it's a paving way for a greater future. And it's a pleasure always taking you around this, showing you what they've done on all this infrastructure. This is Balagri Express coming from our to, to Volkswagen. This is Vos. And from this corridor, if the plan are completed on the, on the section, they will have good and reliable transport system. They will have the train service and the BRT service, which will be much, much, much more reliable. And you can actually time your movement and get to know at a given time, escape Lagos traffic and all. This is what Lagos State Government is doing at this corridor, and which is very, very impressive. And they're working so hard to achieve this. They're also constructing a bus interchange at Marina. This will work home transport services from the mainland to the island, being the hub, the business hub of Lagos. This project is expected to be completed in 2026. It's an interchange design that is. Um, that we're expecting to implement. We're starting that come January. So if you know that La um, the, what do you call it? Marina has water, it has rail, and it has road. So we're making Marina an interchange for transportation, such that there will be ease of changing from mode to mode. There's so many ways to in integration. There's localized integration, meaning that I have all my modes close to one another, I have systems integration which is what is speaking to uh, the ability to use an app to find out when the train is coming or when the bus is coming uh, and uh, uh, an ITS system. And then there's a payment integration which Lagos is already doing with the current car. So this will encompass all of those things I described. So there will be um, the rail system in Marina, 
Underneath that um, marina station, we will develop a bus terminal that will have the BRT buses coming all the way from Ikorodu to that location. We will have other buses from various routes terminating and taking off from there. Uh, we will also have the first and last mile buses coming away from there. We will have the um, walkways that will allow you to use an MT out of the station. We will have cycle racks. You yourself can bring your bikes, uh, lock it up at the marina station and get on the train. So all of that is what we intend to develop and uh, there will be a transit-oriented develop, uh, development building, that building that you can see, which will have uh, cinema, will have offices, will have restaurants, will have little shops, so you can mingle and then there's a sidewalk that will take you from that building to the train station and also to. So this whole marina is going to be developed to be a, a beautiful trans transit um, infrastructure of, of types of infrastructure. Sort of infrastructure. There'll be uh, water ferries as well, so there'll be a bus terminal within Marina State.